right everybody and welcome to your 27th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called animation in jQuery and I'm pretty much excited to teach you guys about this tutorial because animation is kinda something which excites me in jQuery because it's fun to code it's easy to learn and using this you can create actually beautiful animations on your website itself so let's get started to create an animation first let's add some container which will animate so let's say animate animate me uh, let's say we have this is a simple jQuery or let's keep it short let's just say code time inside this alright so inside the script section let's remove the older code and add some new code and I will need a button here as well button and click here to animate sweet now I would like to register the event and since we have only one button on the document so I'll just can go with button dot click function and whenever this button is clicked I want something to happen with this and what I want is animate me dot animate now animate is a you can say a built-in jQuery method or not basically a method yeah you can say that it's a method which accepts three parameters basically one is the things to animate second is the speed of animation in milliseconds obviously and third is the callback function just like we did in the previous tutorial so let's make this easier to understand first of all we need to let the animate method know what things it need to animate so to do that we'll pass a kind of object here and the second would be the animation duration let's set it to 500 milliseconds for now and the callback should be the callback function and we can just create an empty callback function right here callback and it just says alert of animation done and here right here in the animate in the things to animate this is the most uh, critical one you have to follow we have to pass just like we do coding in CSS so let's say I want left to be 300 pixel and top to be 400 pixel let's say and we have got this stuff ready everything's ready let's take a look at the browser let's reload this page right here uh, let's click on this button okay alright so I guess the animation is being done but since this is a position absolute set we can either set uh, position relative set sorry we can either set it to position absolute or change this to margin left and margin top but I want to show you guys how to do margin left and margin top in the next tutorial because it's not just like you do margin left and margin top it's something special you need to do that so for this tutorial let's just change this animate me to position absolute that's it pretty much let's reload this uh, let's click on this button right here oh so I guess that's pretty much a long animation let's just drop this to 100 pixel and top should be 100 pixel as well so let's reload this now and let's click here so you see that this JavaScript alert is fired whenever the animation is done so we can actually make it just the left one so that it's easier to see what's happening actually let's reload this and click here so let's apply this a background as well so background should be color white padding 20 pixel or just the color white but the background should be something like this and let's just copy this for now 
here you go if you guys notice that this callback function inside the animate method itself then what if I called an animation inside the callback itself well if you already thought about that I must say that you are good at your imagination and yes this can be done so basically we can call a animate function inside a callback function itself which would do two animations um, one after another and we'll just leave this call back here because this would become recursive if not so now what we can do this whenever this callback function is fired I want when this animation is completed let's increase the font size of this a little bit so we can do like um, font or I guess I need to explain you camel casing right now so let me tell you so in jQuery while setting um, things to animate in animate method you cannot use like font size now this would become invalid because dash dash right here is used by jQuery as well in many things so we have got to fix this problem we have got something like camel casing so whenever you type font size like this instead of jQuery sending it directly to the CSS like font size um, 30 pixel what it would do is it would whatever um, letter it find as capitalized it would small up that letter and before that letter add a dash automatically in the CSS before sending it to CSS so that's how you do this is called something called camel casing which I was um, discussing in the next tutorial but with our callback function animation I had to do it in this one only so let's reload this now uh, let's click here to animate so you see that first of all what happens here is this this box right here moves to the right and then the font size grows so if I do something like let's say um, padding to be zero here and I guess there should not be a comma right here because you should not put a comma after the last property in the object so let's reload this and let's click here so you see that the font size increase but the padding decrease so if I say like font size 50 pixel and padding should be um, only 5 pixel and now animate this so you see that you could create kind of nice animations and actually I could call back a function within here to this function right here and you know I can make this thing recursive that whenever this button is clicked this function is called this function calls this function and this functions again calls this function so let's let's let me give me a try to this let's say if I have uh, this function right here as a function call back to and what we are here doing is we are creating a kind of infinite recursive but it will obviously not hang your browser because we have some sort of delay but yeah if you would keep it running for long then it will surely cause some lags so inside the function directly passing the function what we can do is we can just pass this callback to function callback to is calling callback and uh, let's call the callback to again from here alright so we have please created a kind of closed loop here which would run infinite time and let's reload this so here you go oh okay okay so you know what we need actually three functions here callback three because we need it to return to its original state as well so function callback 3 should be pretty much the same but what it it should say is that instead of left to 500 it should say left to 0 and after this I want to call the callback 2 here you go and callback callback 3 callback 2 alright let's reload this click on animate grows warp is and it just keeps on moving but 
I guess I had increased the font size size so you could actually do that as well with 10 pixel and padding as um, padding as well to 20 pixel which was the original one and I don't know what the font size was originally but we could always set the font size here to 10 pixel alright let's reload this again our 10 pixel is way too small I guess so this should be 15 or 20 maybe and 20 here and now let's reload this looks good click here grows shrinks grows shrinks grows shrinks and it happens again and again and again and something we would be discussing in the next tutorial but I want to give you an overview of that right here you see that it goes back and comes again goes back comes again doesn't wait so what we can do this to make it wait we can add something called delay now delay would just stop anything for 200 milliseconds and we could just give it a delay here as well and here as well so let's see what result it has on the animation let's click here now you see that animations are much more um, you can say less intensifying and are cleaner to view because things are not just going here and there randomly this is stopping at every point for 200 milliseconds and to see it as a reasonable change let's drop it down <coughs> excuse me let's drop it down to one second and let's reload now so you see that now it waits for one second every time it completes it's one of the callback so that's how I created a recursive callback with jQuery animate and this would keep on going forever and ever unless your computer just switches it off itself or your mom just bangs your head on the keyboard <laughs> so that's all for this tutorial and we'll see what we do in the next one so till then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then